Hello and welcome back to the 2-Minute Drill. My name is Bailey and today we're looking at Jermaine Johnson, an edge rusher from Florida State. Some will remember Johnson from Netflix's Last Chance U and after that season ended, he transferred to Georgia where he was stuck behind some very talented pass rushers. He transferred to Florida State to get some more playing time and was rewarded with a highly productive season. He won ACC Defensive Player of the Year and led the ACC in sacks. Johnson has an ideal frame for an edge rusher, coming in at 6'4 and 254 pounds with a very lengthy measurement of 34 inch arms. Johnson is an experienced and savvy pass rusher who has a full bag of pass moves to help him win. He has shown that he can win with speed, he has shown that he can win with power, and that he can win with length. He has lined up with his hands in the ground and from standing up, being very impressive from both. Basically, Johnson can do it all and he asks this with an excellent athletic makeup. He isn't on the level of Trayvon Walker, but he's still a high level athlete. In terms of things that he needs to work on, Johnson will need to learn how to win more consistently without his hands and disengage when he gets locked up. In the run game, Johnson is strong and powerful at the point of attack. He consistently sheds blocks and slips through to take down running backs in the backfield. He led the ACC in tackles for loss and uses his long length to disengage from blockers to make plays. Johnson was also great as a read and react player off the edge and used his athleticism to stop ball carriers. Johnson will need to get better at disengaging from tight ends, however, they hold him up far too often and take him out of the play. Johnson did not drop back in coverage for Florida State. He is far too valuable as a pass rusher to waste him sitting in the zone. For a player comparison, Jermaine Johnson reminds me of Whitney Merciless. Merciless was a one-year wonder similar to Johnson and had the positional versatility to play in a 3-4 or 4-3. Merciless came into the league pro-ready and Johnson shares that with him. I think that Johnson can slot in and become a starter right away for any team in any scheme. Even though the NFL will like other edge rushers like Walker, Hutchinson, and Thibodeau more, I think that Johnson will be a top 10 selection come draft day. He is too skilled in the class so there isn't a lot of elite talent at the top. And that's the 2 minute drill.